Hello and welcome to my work in progress park. For the first time for this video I'm actually working off a script. Check out this professional over here. This is where I'm going to show my inability to actually read off a script and read my own writing. But we're going to give it a whirl. Most likely I'm going to trip over my own words most of the way through this video. So you'll have to bear with me as I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to YouTube. I'm a noob tube. Well, yes, go start. So, I've yet to name my park. This is mostly due to the fact that I can't actually think of anything. So any ideas or suggestions for a name for the park would be much appreciated. And if I do decide to use any of the suggested names, I shall ensure to immortalise that person by naming one of the staff members. How is that for gratitude? Doesn't get much better than that. So, here's my main entrance. I took inspiration from another creator, uh, Reach G's. I'm actually just going to show his creation all the way over here. So this was what uh, Reach G's had uploaded and I absolutely loved what I had done. Um, and the second I saw this, I knew I wanted something similar, uh, but I didn't want to just do a straight out copy. Um, I wanted to put my own spin on it. So from the very beginning, of this build I knew that I wanted to have a monorail running around the park so my entranceway actually needed to have a monorail so let's go through here and as you can see there are like subtle changes between uh, Reach G's creation and my own uh, one of the big things was I needed upstairs to be accessible to actually get to the monorail so upstairs we've got the first aid, which the guests don't really tend to use that much. Um, yeah, no one's used it for the last month. But it did seem to make sense to have a first aid facility uh, near the entrance of the park, as I feel most parks do have that. And then we've also got our staff room over here. Uh, we've got shops over here. The shops are used quite a lot by the guests that come off the monorail. Um, and then we've got sofas and seating. Um, those were Reach G's creations, I actually copied them. Um, they don't actually exist in the game, so what he's done is he's created them using basic shapes and I use them as well. But I ensured to put some benches down um, so the guests do still have somewhere to sit. Um, I'm not very happy with the downstairs area. There are still things to be done down here, there is, there is work. That needs to be done but it's got the the basic amenities such as the information kiosk so the guests can get their priority passes um and then you've also got the toilets i just need to add some atms in there as well and let's show you what it looks like at night as i'm i'm very happy with the nighttime lighting of it i think it looks really pretty at night a lot of nice colors and such so over here we have our entrance for the monorail and I just put in a little water feature there I'm not actually going to ride the monorail yet um, we'll save that till the end I don't want to ruin the surprise of the rest of the park as I'm sure you're all very excited and almost shaking with anticipation to see the rest of the park and for all you impatient lot, I will give you a sneak peek of the main attraction. But we'll come back to that later. So, let's go for a wonder. So let's go downstairs. So as you can see, we've got some lovely grass here. I've yet to decide what to do there. Um, I might build a bit of a backstage area. Um, or put a ride down. Um, not actually sure yet. Uh, we'll see. But I'll come back to that. So let's go down the path. And on our right, we have got Wasp's Nest, our first roller coaster. Uh, the reason I keep stopping and pausing is because I'm trying to read the script at the same time. I'm really not a professional when it comes to this. I hope it doesn't come across too much that I'm a noob at this, but whatever. 
So, wasp's nest. Uh, what I did first was I built the ride first, and then afterwards, rather than using lots of different scenery items, I actually used the terrain feature within the game and pulled up terrain all around it to create a wasp's nest. And I used the roughen feature to create lots of holes and crevices within the terrain, and painted the whole thing with rocks. Uh, I did a bit of work on the station. Um, it was very important that it needed to be yellow and black um, to obviously portray a wasp. And I built the storage for bags and coats and items, etc. Uh, the guests never use it, but it just gives that extra authenticity. And then as the ride comes in, there's the next car. You can actually see the car there from the station, which I thought was a really cool feature, how you can see the ride. Um, and then as the car comes in, it won't actually stop because this one will pull off instantly. So quite good timing there. Uh, green across the board, so green excitement, green fear, green nausea, so the guests absolutely love it. And let's go for a ride. Uh, not on that one. Let's go on this one, here we go. And we're actually going for a night point of view first, which wasn't my plan, but never mind. So as you can see, it goes um, in and out of lots of holes, maybe it's okay. uh, just to convey that wasp nest and subterranean feel. You see, this is the type of ride that I would go on. I would love this type of ride. Um, I love how smooth it is. I, I feel it, it does feel quite genuine. Um, it feels quite realistic, so it's something that you would go on. I mean, uh, my wife watches me play this and, and she plays herself as well and she'll watch the coasters that I build and she'll be like, hm, there's no way you'll ever get me to go on that. And she's such a wimp when it comes to coasters and theme parks. And it's like my seven-year-old son will see it and be like, oh, dad, that looks amazing. I'd love to go on that. And I'm like, dude, you're seven. You're not going on that. Let's just put it back to the daytime because I, do, I don't want to show the whole park at... Uh, so let's just put it back to day for a second. So one thing that did trip me up whilst I was building um, the wasp's nest is I didn't actually realise how close I was building to the edge of the build area. Hence this flat bit here. Um, so as I got to here and I was building my track, the game was like, nope, can't go that way. So I ended up having to build the loop there which, as it turned out, turned out really well, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, and as you see it come up, it almost stops, but then carries on again. And I really liked that. I thought that was really cool, and it was a bit of a happy accident when I did it. But I'm happy with that. So, let's go down the exit of the ride. And we have here our haunted house. Uh, the haunted house is one of the blueprints from the game. Um, I just wanted to have something thrown down there just for the guests. Um, I want to build my own haunted house, uh, but I'm not exactly sure how to go around it, if I'm honest. So in the typical British fashion, I'm just going to ignore it and come back to it later. And um, we've got a small flat ride over here, nothing fancy, but kind of just fits in with the theming of the area. And let's go over to the monorail and ride it back to the entrance. That was quite good timing. I copied and pasted this, so as you can see, there is still editing to do. But let's uh, have a go on this and ride it back to the station again. Uh, that's the wrong train, that's the wrong train. Where am I? Is this the right one? I don't even know where I am. Where are you? I'm pretty sure that's the wrong train. Well, this was a spectacular fail. We're going to go for an imaginary monorail train. Here we go. Isn't this magical? And we go through the wasp's nest. That was one thing that I did really want to do, is try and incorporate the monorail into the rides that I've got. 
as I feel that that's quite, uh, it's what they do in real life, like kind of just to give that extra anticipation and excitement. So here we go now, imaginary monorail. And look at that, we're back to the station. So out we come. Uh, let's go down the stairs and out over here. And this is the part where I pause because I'm completely going off script now and I've got no idea where on the script I am. So I have to uh, find myself again. This is tough. Such an expert YouTuber. So, as you can see on our right, we have a new attraction coming. Summer 2021. And the reason it's an upcoming pack is because I don't actually have the contact pack required to build what I want to do. Um, the Studios pack is available on the PC, but it's yet to come to the consoles. And a lot of the stuff that comes within that pack is stuff that I want to use with on the ride. Um, I mean, I could build the coaster now, but I don't have the decorations that I want to complete the scenery and the theming of my ride. So, um, what I thought was, places like Alton Towers and Thorpe Park, um, they will have to have areas that are all blocked off with uh, new attraction coming soon and everything, and I thought that was quite a cool thing to put in. So, that is literally sat there waiting for the DLC to come, and quick nighttime viewing just some lights and as a teaser for what this ride is going to be called are you ready drum roll please it's going to be called construction and the idea is going to be that it's going to be a complete construction site with cranes diggers pipes um just just your usual construction site with a coaster going around it so I'm actually quite excited to make that. So Frontier, please hurry up and release the studio's pack for the consoles, please. And now it's time to look at the main attraction of the park. I present Tomb Flumer. Because it's a log flume. It's not Tomb Raider. It's a log flume. Yeah. My sense of irony isn't lost on me. So let's have a wander down the queue. Beware of the snakes. Adventure needed. Lost treasure, brave the perils. So the story behind the ride, a long lost treasure is rumoured to have been found within the jungle. Only rumours and myths of this treasure exist, and many an adventurer in the past has disappeared, never to be seen again. Dare you brave the trials and dangers that await to claim this lost fortune. So the station, uh, once again this station is not completely my own, um, so I don't pretend to take full claim for this, um, I will actually show the original creation. So that was the original creation that was posted on the uh, store, and I took that idea and, and again made it my own, and that was made by, I hope I pronounce this right, Xamaro. I, I'm very sorry if I've just completely butchered your name, but amazing creation. Um, loved it the second I saw it, and it was kind of what was the very first part of the log flume, if honest, and I kind of went from there. So I kind of used that as an inspiration. Um, I didn't copy and paste. I did actually create it myself uh, to make it my own. Oh, get off the way, monorail. And I also added beetles. That was my touch. I added beetles and a scorpion. How original was I? And you come into the entrance and you can see all the things ready to go on this perilous journey. And the only thing left to do is let's have a ride. Ah, oh, that was perfect. On the right one as well. Let's go on there so we've got a better view. So it's quite a long ride, but I feel that log flumes tend to be on the longer, one of the longer rides within theme parks. Um, so I think this is about two minutes in duration. And what I've done is I've themed the whole ride around the idea of going on this adventure. Um, but I was also mindful of not overpopulating the whole ride. I didn't want to overdo it. Adventurers are there. 
digging for the treasure. Uh, we go underneath one of the two waterfalls within the ride. And you can see construction off in the distance. I just love that you can see the monorail from the ride. Um, the, the monorail is one of my favourite things in the park. I'm saying that about everything. I've got lots of favourite things in the park. There's my main waterfall, just next to the uh, main drop. Watch out for the snakes. So you can probably hear the jungle sounds that I've incorporated. The speakers hidden all around the ride with the jungle sounds I like kind of the ambience of being in the jungle and I really like how you can see other riders um, going around the ride at the same time and um, I tried to keep the ride fairly compact um, it still ended up a lot larger than I originally anticipated come up to the final lift as I said quite a long ride And one thing that I really wanted to do at the very end of the ride was because it was this story adventure type ride going to find this treasure well watch out for that crocodile was uh, have the treasure at the very end so using gold pieces from the game I actually created that monument uh, from scratch with the gold treasure chest on top of it congratulations adventurer for surviving and claiming the prize so we won't do a full uh, nighttime point of view because obviously that is quite a long ride and I won't put you through an entire second ride again uh, but there are a couple of things that I did want to show um, with the nighttime viewing so I don't know if people would have noticed but I actually created a, a ride camera um, not an item that is in the game but there's a trigger point I believe it's about here somewhere that once it goes past that the camera will trigger a couple of times like a ride camera would and because of that obviously when you're getting off the ride you're then going to need ride photos um, obviously I couldn't put the photos of the ride on there so kind of just have to use your imagination and then I've also got like flickering lights around the station which took me ages to figure out how to do um, but I was happy with them. I, I like this one. It proper looks like a faulty bulb. And I put like fireflies around the ride um, just to give like kind of that extra feel at night. And the lighting of the whole ride at night is, is really cool actually. And that's a, obviously a top view of it. Uh, let's just turn it back to daytime again. 
so it's quite a big ride um not gonna lie probably 20 plus hours to build that but it was worth it so let's, as we come out of the ride we'll come down this path and we're almost done with the tour i can almost hear the disappointment but don't worry i will actually continue building and sharing so as we come down here what we've got over here is a water filtration system and this was actually inspired by a fellow youtuber called mormon little socks um, who actually created a water filtration system in one of his games um, i believe his was on a bit of a smaller scale because he was just doing the one ride um, so i knew that i had to do quite a big one if it was going to like kind of do a filtration system for that entire uh, log flume so i took that idea and and did this and for anyone who's actually unfamiliar with Moomin Little Socks, um, I highly recommend watching some of his videos. Um, extremely talented creator. Um, I've watched pretty much all of his videos. Um, I only recently discovered him and absolutely loved the videos that he's posted. Um, I'll actually post a link down below in the uh, for a link to his channel if I can figure out how to do that because, like I said, I'm such a noob. Uh, but hopefully I can figure out how to do it and I'll post a link to his YouTube. Um, I recommend watching his A Very British Park series and his also A Matter of Time ride, which is probably the best thing I have ever seen created on this game. Absolutely incredible. But anyway, back to my video. Um, I felt it was important to keep the water clean for the log flume as the guests do get splashed a lot. And I didn't want the... Uh, poor little pixelated people to get poorly i actually value the safety of each individual guest so the pipes i made myself um were just like kind of these little things on there like and they go off over there and then they also go off over here into this one which i will eventually be turning into a water ride as well um but anyone who's aware ripsaw in olden towers um was actually this ride but it had uh, water spray across here so that when the ride came down it would actually spray people in the face which was quite cool so I want to do something similar but that's also on my extensive to-do list so the only thing left to do is really I'd, I'd said I was going to ride the monorail at the end but we've basically already done it so there's not really anything else to do so let me close off this video by saying thank you for watching um any ideas advice or suggestions are always welcome um advice will probably be get better at making youtube videos i will take that on board i can critique myself don't worry um any suggestions for the name of the park don't forget of course you will be immortalized as a staff member it's very exciting thank you for everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for these very unprofessional youtube videos and until next time stay safe and have a lovely remainder of your day afternoon evening night whatever it may be goodbye <laughs>